Hey everyone, it's Natalie here, the Posh Pigeon, and today we're going to go over another wet sold video, and this is actually going to be for about the last 10 days of August, which of course, we're already September. I'm just a little behind, and I sold, I think it was 99 items in August, and so as much as I am going to hope to continue to go over everything that has sold for me in these videos, I don't know if I will be able to do it every single week. I'm definitely going to try, but however, as you know, we are already in September and I'm sharing August with you. Let's just jump right into this and I'm going to be looking down at this paper. So I hope you guys don't mind, but of course my hope is to have, yes, I will have the items up here on the screen so you guys can see. All right, so first up is these Mark Fisher block heel, uh, block heels. <clears throat> I purchased these for $10 at a regular Goodwill and I sold them for $63 and they took 46 days to sell. Next up is going to be a North Face uh, zip up. And this I picked up, gosh, I think back in May or June, cause I've had it for 64 days. It finally sold for $30 and I paid six at a, and I picked it up at a regular Goodwill. Next up is this Anthropology Maeve dress, which I can't remember if I picked this up for myself or to resell. I paid three dollars for it at a local thrift stop, the thrift store, and it sold for twenty four dollar or twenty four dollars. About fifty one days later, um, but yeah, I didn't end up keeping it. If I did buy it for myself, but I really, I really love this dress. Maybe I wore it once and then I sold it. Next up is this Lily Pulitzer, uh, strapless like swimsuit cover up slash dress and this actually sold the same day I listed it for $55 and I paid $4 for it. It surprised me that it sold so quickly but it was an extra large and from what I'm finding the bigger sizes with Lily Pulitzer move a lot faster and so yeah that it wasn't as bold of a print as some of the other ones and so it just surprised me that it sold so quickly. Next up are these Steve Madden square toed boots and I got a couple lowball offers when I first listed them however I did pay ten dollars for them so I was holding out for a little bit more money they ended up selling for thirty five dollars and I had them in my closet for 54 days and I picked these up at a regular Goodwill I don't know about you guys but Steve Madden Vince Camuto and Sam Edelman boots definitely seem to sell for more money. And so far, I think everything that I have has sold within 60 days. But anytime I see them out and they're in fairly good condition, like you kind of know that it's going to sell. Uh, it just depends for how much, but you definitely, in general, at least going to double your money. All right, next up is these Athleta Little Girl Leggings. And this was something that, again, one of my experiment pickups because I was just curious to see how well these would do. And I had them in my closet for over 60 days. And they finally, I finally got an offer for $10. I paid four. So obviously I didn't really make any money and yeah, that was just an experiment, so now I know, and I will pick up more substantial pieces if it's like a designer label. Like I sold a Burberry top, and that sold actually, you know, rather quickly for I think like $30, and I only paid $3 for it, so that was worth it, but other than that, I'm probably going to stay away from kids' clothes because I don't know anything about it. Next up was just a bad buy, so and I was happy it finally sold. This was New Tags Lily Pulitzer, and this was one of the first items that I sourced that I paid up for. I actually paid $20 for this, and 
and it was new with tags and so my thinking was I would get perhaps more money but it only sold for $28 so I pretty much broke even on this and it took because it was an extra small which again it's a big no-no in general for Lily Pulitzer like I have extra small stuff and I have definitely sold some but I'm not going to make nearly as much as I would if it was like a large or extra large and I source this at just like a local consignment shop and then it took uh, 70 days to sell next up is this J Crew collab dress with Netta Porter and this actually sold within nine days and for fifty dollars and i paid seven and i picked it up at a regular goodwill these vince camuto um sandals i had for 61 days i paid four dollars for them and i sold them for 18. this was a pretty old style and so i wasn't really expecting much money for them I guess I, my, I was thinking oh it's a quick ten dollars it wasn't a quick ten dollars but I mean it did sell it did they did finally sell so to my point even something like this it's old and not in like super great condition still you can easily double your money on depending on what you paid for them next up is this tablet like basic tank top and again this is just like a bad impulse buy where I was at an estate sale and they had a lot of things for like five dollars and so I was like oh five dollars here five dollars here like grabbing things for five dollars which I didn't really look up comps and so I would say Talbots is something I wanted to experiment with just to see I would say Talbots and Tahari I don't think do as well as Chico's and so if I had to choose like Chico's all the way. Chico's actually has a 50% sell-through rate in my closet right now. So anyways, I only sold this for $12. Um, so again, I made like a few dollars off of it, but it did sell within 17 days. And I was happy to see it go. Next up is these Lululemon. Um, viewers, this is an older style, but they were full length camo. Uh, leggings and I paid up for these at Plato's. I paid $12 for them. I sold them for $32. So again, I didn't make much money on this, but I don't know about you guys, but Lululemon leggings, no matter if they're full length, cropped, or ankle, they are not moving fast for me. Like this one, I think took well over 60 days, maybe even close to 90 days to even sell. And I mean, they were full length and I thought like camel leggings would easily sell and they don't sell for as much as I feel like perhaps they used to. I think maybe Lululemon leggings might be oversaturated now to an extent. Um, I don't know. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments, what you guys think. The joggers or the more significant pieces even like the biker shorts or the shorts yeah i think are a different story but the leggings and then especially if they're cropped uh yeah i am not as excited to find lululemon um leggings like i used to be i just think they take way too long to sell and it's not for that great of a profit now if i find them obviously at goodwill and i'm paying only six or seven dollars for them perhaps but I used to buy up for, or, or I have paid up for them at Play-Dohs, but yeah, I'm definitely much more particular on that these days. All right, next up is this Iguana Jack, like, hoodie, and I sourced this on Whatnot, and then when I got it, because it was only a dollar, right? You think on Whatnot, it's like, oh, it's a dollar, nobody else is bidding. I'm just going to get it for a dollar. However, you have to incorporate shipping in there, so, I mean, I did pay four dollars for it. It sold in two days for $11, but obviously I didn't really make any money. I doubled my money. <laughs> I made uh, $8, but definitely another impulse buy where I shouldn't have picked that up. All right, next is up this new Tags Nike Tennis Squirt, and this I got at a regular Goodwill, and somebody purchased it for $30. 
I paid six or seven dollars for it and it sold in 15 days. Next up is this uh, fabric dress. This was actually from my own closet and so I sold it for $16 and it took 70 days to sell, which I don't have any other fabric pieces. Personally, before I started doing this and like when I was so busy that like if I needed an outfit or whatever, I would just go to fabric knowing that I could find something trendy there and cute. It kind of surprised me that this maxi dress only sold for $16 because I'm sure I paid probably close to a hundred for it and it was really pretty but it finally sold and so I was like taking the offer when somebody accept when somebody sent me an offer. Next up are these free people pull on flare jeans. Now the interesting part to this is these two sold within three days. I got these at a, a local thrift store. I paid $4 for them. They sold for $36, but I've had other flare jeans that have taken much longer to sell and not for, I mean, well, I probably got around between $30 to $40 for them. But yeah, these sold really quickly and because I listed them at the end of August, which is coming close to like the end of the lights, the white season, I was just shocked that they, they sold so fast. Because I just thought maybe I'd have them until, you know, next summer. All right, next up is this J. Crew tweed uh, blazer. This is definitely an older style, but totally Barbie core. And it was super unique and cute. It sold in three days for $48 and I only paid four. Next up is this uh, Blue Life uh, corset mini dress, and I had this for 62 days. This actually surprised me how long it took to sell because it's it's very on trend and it was listed throughout the summer, and so it did, did end up selling for $30. I paid four, picked it up at a local thrift store again, but yeah took a little too long to, in my opinion and actually some of my other blue life stuff that i had picked up i would say probably june july ish still listed so maybe it's it's a good brand so i don't know if you guys have experience with blue life but now that i have had a couple pieces and this is the first one that actually has moved like i probably am going to stay away from it potentially unless again it's a very substantial piece next up is this anthropology linen romper and i paid four dollars for this it sold for 28 and it took 52 days to sell again i was a little surprised by how long it sold and that I only got $28 for it because I think some of the comps were higher than that. But when somebody sent me an offer and we're coming close to the end of summer, I accepted it. And it was a good size. I think it was large or extra large. All right, next up are figs. If you guys aren't aware of like the fig scrubs, I just learned this through watching YouTube. But apparently they are your like Lululemon of scrubs. And so they're higher end. These were a double X small and so the size wasn't great but when I found them at Goodwill I picked them up. I paid about seven dollars for them and I sold them for 30 in nine days. So that was a fast flip although I did think I was going to get a little bit more for them because it was a a style that had like their like 10 pockets um, but when I got an offer again, I'm all about cash flow right now, accepting things to get things moving. Steve, the Steve Madden, uh, clogs, these again, I picked up at Plato's and I overpaid for them. I paid $10 for them. They took 70 days to sell and I only sold them for $23. And so my profit was $8, which is not great, but learning lesson for me because I don't think I did my research on these I just 
thought they were cute and they were clogged and so I was thinking I would get at least 30 to $35 for them, but I was very wrong. And so out of the three brand brands, Steve Madden, Vince Camuto, and Sam Edelman, I would say Steve Madden definitely is going to be, uh, I think sells for less than Vince Camuto and Sam Edelman. Next up are these Lululemon leggings again. So these were, I paid up for because they were the 20 year anniversary ones and they had Lululemon all down the side and they were full length. Somebody ended up purchasing them for $54. I paid 18, so I still profited over $20 for them, but they took a lot longer to sell. And I did get an offer for, I think around that same price probably a week or two after I listed them but I had them for sale for for $75 and I thought based on comps I would get a little bit more but I finally got another offer and for $54 I went ahead and accepted that next up are these aloe yoga leggings and again aloe yoga leggings the regular just leggings I probably unless I get them for three or four dollars I'm not really interested in picking them up of course I'm going to still check comps in case they seem like a newer piece but in general the older ones they sit and they don't do as well this was listed for 38 days I picked these up at a regular goodwill paid six dollars they sold for 16 and so obviously only made like $5 profit. Next up are these American Eagle flare jeans, which sold in 21 days. They did have like these flaws on them. So I had gone to the St. Vincent de Paul bins in Wisconsin and I thought maybe I could like flip a lot of this American Eagle stuff to like Plato's closet to my surprise. They didn't take like probably five to eight pieces of my American Eagle stuff, which I thought that they would. This was one of them. And so I got an offer for $10. I paid $1 for them. So I made like a couple dollars on this, but I was just happy to see them go since Play-Dohs wouldn't take them. Next up is this American, uh, not American, Amber Crombie and Fitch New Tags dress. This was such a cute smock dress that it took 60 days to sell and it was an extra large, I think, or an extra, extra large. Um, I finally got an offer on it for $40 and I accepted. I paid seven for it. So obviously I still, you know, made at least $25 from it. However, I was surprised it didn't sell for more because... it The smocking dresses seemed to do really well and it was just a really cute dress and so yep when I got that offer I just went ahead and accepted it even though I thought I would sell it for more like $50 because I think the original price on it was like 128 and it was new with tags by the way Amacromi and Fitch jeans this is just a side note I think they've done something different because even I love to wear Amacromi and Fitch jeans um the way they fit me fits better than some other jeans out there um, they don't have like a gap behind you and so I think the jeans are starting to trend a lot more now and the brand in general I think kind of got a facelift and so I would definitely if you guys see Amber Crombie and Fitch and it's some of the newer stuff you should definitely check comps on it. Next I brought these Levi's uh, jeans and I got these at the bins they sold for $10 I paid about a dollar. So I only profited a couple dollars. They were listed for 27 days. And yeah, I was just ready to see them go. VCBG Maxira tops. I have had, I think, two or three tops listed. And all of them sold under 30 days. So that was really surprising. This is like an older style too. And it sold in 13 days. I actually got this at an estate sale. It sold for $20. And I probably paid, I don't know, $4 for it. And so, you know, I made like $10, $11. Next up is this realization. I don't even know if I'm saying this correctly, this brand uh, dress, but I think it's definitely sold on Revolve. And I sourced this on Whatnot for $47. I flipped it and it sold 
in eight days for $120. So I profit, I did profit about $40, $45 from this. Now this is the type of piece that I'm looking to do more, uh, have more items like this in my closet. In the beginning, I definitely just sourced a lot of stuff that I could double my money on just to grow my closet. However, I am realizing that I kind of forced the growth in a, in a way in my profit margins, I think, where my average sales price definitely has gone down since the previous month. At least that's between August and July. I'll, that's what it seems at this point. I will be doing a recap for August and September. And I did do a video about how much money I've made in my first three months, which I'll link um, above. But my goal is, is to gradually get more items kind of like this dress where I'm making a higher profit margin and um, just, yeah, getting more designer labels in my closet. All right, next up is these Y2K um, chunky slides and I got these at the bin. So I paid maybe a dollar for them, a dollar 50. They sold for $20 in 22 days. And any sandal like this, if you can get it cheap enough, it's definitely on trend for the Y2K style. So I just recommend if it's cheap enough for you to pick it up. So yeah, I profit $15 from that. These, this Brooks Brothers jacket took about 69 days to sell, but I listed it in the beginning of summer, which is probably why. I'm sure if I listed it now, I probably would have sold faster. And I paid $8 for it and it sold for $40. So again, I'm hitting above $20 profit. This Jules and Lapold uh, yellow boyfriend blazer, I source at um, the bins in Wisconsin, St. Vincent de Paul bins, and I paid a dollar for it about, and it sold for $25 in 28 days. So that was, a, that was a good flip from the bins. Next up is this Anthropology Cloth and Stone um, denim top along with this vintage Havana button down. Now this is in my what hasn't sold after 90 days video. And so when somebody bundled this, the bundle price was $40 and I sent them a $20 offer because I was like 50% off, just get these things out of my closet. Otherwise I'm gonna have to take them to Play-Dohs and Play-Dohs is only gonna pay me like three or $4 for them. So I, I was happy to see them go. They were listed way too long and I was happy to give somebody a great deal which they love them. They left me a little love note, and so I'm happy about that. All right, Judy Blue Flare Jeans. I picked these up on a Monday Goodwill sale, and I paid like $3, $3.50 for them. They sold the same day. Judy Blue. Never heard of the brand, but when I came across the jeans and they were flare, I looked them up. Decent comps. They sold for $31, so profited right at that $20 mark and it sold same day which is awesome so definitely keep your eyes peeled for those if you get them cheap enough next up is this J. Crew pink pleated dress and again this was a pickup that I was like eh, it's the end of summer is this even gonna sell I paid six or seven dollars for it at a local thrift store and um, it sold for $36. So again, I'm right at my $20 profit margin and it sold within 12 days. By the way, anything pink or that fuchsia bright pink, in if it's a good trending piece, even though I may only profit like 10 to $20 off of it, in general, all of those pink pieces, I've, I've picked up like dresses and tops and pans like they all sell under 30 days so in my mind I look at it like quick flip like if you see a bright pink piece out like definitely consider picking it up is what I'm saying or do some quick comps on it but for me all those pieces have sold under 30 days all right this free people swing dress okay I've picked up several swing dresses from free people they all seem to sell between like 25 and 35 dollars but in general i think 27 28 29 30 
So do they sell for a ton of money? No, and they don't sell like that fast. This was listed for 59 days. However, I should reverse that statement because I did get an offer for about $27, $28 when it first was listed. And I think I had this price at $40. So I was thinking I was going to get like $35 for it, which again is a learning lesson. Like if I get an offer that is lower than what I thought I would make, but I get an offer within like a week or two, I definitely go back and look at comps to see if I have false expectations of the price I'm going to get for it. And this swing dress was definitely a false expectation in my mind. And so I should have just accepted that original offer, but it did end up selling and I didn't end up making probably what, like $15 off of it. And it, it took too long to sell, but it really should have sold within a week or two. And I should have just made my money back and moved on. All right, these Michael Kors chunky platform shoes, they had flaws in them. Otherwise, they probably should have sold for about $50, but they had a big, a significant flaw in them, which I obviously disclose, and they would have to take them to a shoe repair shop to get them a little repaired so they can wear them longer. And so when I got an offer for $20 and I paid $6, I'm only making $10 off of them. But again, when I picked them up, I didn't know they were flawed. So I was just happy to see them go. Uh, J. Crew tiered, oh yeah, this J. Crew tiered dress. This was a really pretty dress. I got this at Goodwill. I paid $7 for it. It sold within 13 days for $36. So again, I'm right at my $20 mark. Yeah, that's all I have to say on that one. And then the last one is, these free people or this free people maxi dress. I actually have a black one listed like this right now. This one got an offer within five days for $72. I paid $8 for it. So this was a pretty healthy flip. I made about $48 off of it. Um, the black one is still sitting, not getting as much love. And then I have a black mini dress like this, which is kind of oversaturated actually on Poshmark so I'm expecting that one to sit longer and it's an extra small so but yeah this was a good pickup free people maxi dresses definitely seem to bring in the money a little bit more than the mini dresses from my experience so far selling free people but yeah that was my last my last item in August to sell all right guys Hopefully you stayed with me. Um, if you found this helpful, definitely like and subscribe. I am going to continue to do my what, my what Sold videos since I started May 2022. And my learning lesson as I just read through this is I definitely need to be more strategic in the items that I am picking up, which I feel like I am being more aware of but I think and even still I struggle with this forcing the growth of the closet to see if I can uh increase my sales faster but however I think my average sales price is actually going down by doing that which is not what I want to do so stay with me and we will see how August and September shake out with my actual take home profits and my sales and so Thanks again for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.